So I'm dealing with a spool valve leak, and you can see that it'll look like there's almost oil coming from the dipstick. Uh, it'll be coming from right in there, and that drips right down onto the alternator there. Um, when I was doing the timing belt, I noticed that there's um, quite a bit of grime on the plate right in here. And so I made a mistake. I used, uh, I looked up the part on eBay and replaced the gasket between the upper and lower half of the spool valve. So you can take off um, this bolt over here, this one, and the one up here. The top half comes off replaced uh, that gasket which also has a filter right away i got a error code and i think the mesh is too tight and the big problem with that is that that's actually not a real honda part and so it's just not going to work right honda doesn't sell those gaskets or that filter so don't ever buy those ones that you see on eBay or Amazon. That's the replacement. After that, I found one at O'Reilly's. Uh, I forget. I think it's a doorman. And that seemed to work okay. I did a video where I replaced it. It was leaking immediately. And I was really careful on torquing the bolts that I got them all symmetric and even. And then there's no leak. Um, but right away, a uh, leak popped back up now, oh, two months later and leaked all over the alternator, toasted that. I didn't notice that it was leaking. So I replaced the alternator. Now I've got alternator issues again. So with the car started, it doesn't take long and you just see the oil coming down right there. So that's what it looks like and then it goes and it drips all over the alternator with this leak um i didn't really notice that it was leaking right away uh i think it goes straight into the alternator and it's pretty hot and burns it up so there's nothing on the garage floor from this oil leak even though it's pretty heavy so to fix this We'll go through it. You gotta take the engine cover off. You've gotta take this piece off here. There's a little clip here and here. You pry back this little piece here and here to pop that up. Uh, they're pretty fragile, so careful. Then there's a bunch of connectors. So first one's this one. Second one's this. There's little buttons or tabs on each of these you've got to push. This one. And there's three in the front. And there. You can loosen it up. Okay, so the service bulletin on this is 20-023, and it's good for all those cars. Diagnosis, uh, signs of oil leaks. So, um, this is the top portion that we're gonna remove. Um, so it says to keep the top of it, uh, this bottom part will leave in place. It says do not install uh, If you do do that, you've got to take off the manifold loosen up the rocker arms um, so my guess is that maybe there's something Different about the lower gasket metal plate and maybe the pressure has changed or something with the new upper portion This is a common problem. This is a 2011 Honda Odyssey um, 
The torque on these bolts is very important. It's eight Newton meters or six pound foot or 72 inch pounds. So we will get after this, there's three 10 millimeter bolts. We've already loosened up this piece here. There's only three bolts on this that need to be replaced. You shouldn't be doing anything else. There's that one, this one here, that one there. One of the bolts is longer, I think, maybe that one. Yeah, so the top bolt is the long one. I've done this three times. The moral of the story is three times isn't replacing the gasket. Don't replace the gasket. Don't touch the gasket if it's not leaking, thinking you're gonna do preventive maintenance. That's not gonna work. Um, a lot of people loosen up this whole thing, um, move it off to the side. I just, like you saw, loosen the clips and you can get this out to the side. Um, clean that off so we can look at it. And there's the plate here. Try not to drip oil everywhere. This plate comes in like the replacement doorman kit, but don't get that. It doesn't work. From what I've seen online, uh, nobody ever has good results just trying to replace this gasket. Um, should have had a picky handy here, but this gasket's just going in the trash. So this filter, uh, if you get like the fake ones on eBay, you're going to get an error code pretty quick because the mesh size isn't the same. With this one I got from O'Reilly's, I did not get error codes, but um, also didn't seal either. So, try to clean this up a little um, so that when we get the new one in, we can also tell whether it's leaking or not. So it's much easier to clean this off. So, for the 2011 Honda Odyssey, I have a, that part number, it's about $220, the dealership, probably tried to charge you more, um, but negotiate if you can. So, let's compare these, so we're just replacing the top, uh, that connector's just turned a little bit different. So, it says to take the top off. So this bolt, this bolt, this bolt. goes here and the two short ones so close the side fill that up it's nice and good so this one um, I should have a pick for that because I want to be careful with that one on top of it. Line that up. Tilt this in. Get the 
long bolt. That's probably the easiest one to get started first. Uh, don't use power to start them. We'll see if this works. The dealership wanted $1,200. They were going to take the manifold off and do, you have to loosen up the rocker, rocker arms. Um, and then, what else with that? Uh, then they were going to do a valve adjustment. That's what you have to do if you replace the whole lower part. Um, I've got Rather not spend all that money. Instead, I just end up tinkering. All right, let's get these just tight or snug. And then, um, it's really important to get the torque right on these, and I think it's symmetric. So, just kind of teeter totter back and forth and get that 72 inch pounds. It's not very tight. So, it's just snug. You don't want one tighter than others. I think getting them symmetric is the most important thing. There's other videos where people put like gasket sealer and stuff on from the Audi Club forum. That looks like a bad idea. Uh, if you get any of that uh, gasket sealer or whatever that breaks loose in there, I can't imagine. That's good. The spool valve, maybe the filter catch it, but it's gonna, that thing is super sensitive. It'll throw a air code very fast. So let's clean this up. Always save the old parts in case. Say this. Um, start putting all these connectors back. Um, so this one will line up. Let's line up this clip. This clip over here. Make this kind of snap in. Of course, I missed that one. on and I get these clips done. This one's a bit different angle. in the house. Uh, I didn't lose any connectors. Um, swap up this oil again. Put the dipstick back in. Double check. this torque dumb dipstick um try to give it a go we'll start it and then see if it starts leaking right away See if that works. So put the cover back on and go from there. Check back 
pretty regularly after drives just to see if it's leaking for a week or two.